you, you can't tell by looking at it, but this simple strip of iron is one of the worst torture devices ever devised. It's, it's, it's one of the twelve infamous purification rituals used by the Brotherhood the first time they ever tried to steal the darkness. The Brotherhood simply referred to it as the Fourth, but over time it earned the name the Silent Night. It's easy to see why. Long time ago, the Brotherhood stole a darkness host at birth. They then raised him as one of their own, only to torture and kill him in an attempt to force the darkness out. This strip was forced into that unfortunate host's mouth, keeping it open. It was then wrapped around his jaw, leaving a slit where his tongue was inserted. The gag was then slowly tightened. The first thing it did was slice off the host's tongue. <laughs> but then the gag was tightened further, and it completely shattered and dislocated his jaw. You think that's horrible? Keep in mind, the host had yet to manifest the darkness. He didn't know what he was. The Brotherhood had raised him since birth to believe he was one of their own. Imagine, the only family you've ever known subjecting you to the most painful, degrading acts they can imagine, and they don't even tell you why. I, I don't want to sound like I'm going soft, but it seems to me like that'd be the worst torture of all. Anyway, the darkness manifested right as the host's jaw snapped. They say he killed every person within a league of the Brotherhood's monastery that day. Then, the host vanished, never to be seen again. Hell, we don't even know his name. Ooh, the Deceiver's Grasp. The third most infamous glove of all time, right behind the, the sparkly one and the one that didn't fit. And the Deceiver's Grasp was designed to be used in conjunction with the Abysmal Maw. If you don't know, the Maw was a mystical hand cannon that shot pure hellfire, but consumed the user's soul in the process. It, it only took a few thousand damnings before someone got the idea to protect themselves from the Maw's side effects. And so, the Deceiver's Grasp was forged as a sort of damnation contraceptive for your hand. Current theory holds that the Brotherhood created the glove, which would make sense, since it employs a rather nasty bit of transference magic. See, when laced with the blood of another living person, the glove allows you to wield the maw without having your soul burnt away, whereas the poor sap whose blood you used will spend eternity cozied up beside the fires of hell. Come to think of it, a better name for this thing would have been the asshole's bait and switch, or my slimy brother Ted. It doesn't sound as ominous, I, I admit, but it's just so damn accurate.